Hey, what's going on, gamers? Welcome back to another Mall Legends uh, analysis video. Now, today's analysis video will be on Prince Charmless. Now, this one will be a special analysis. That's because I feel like uh, this is going to be a good monster because of the fact that he has a lot of extra turns. And um, I know that other YouTubers already did a analysis video, and I still want to do it because I feel like maybe some of you guys um, don't know those YouTubers, so why not? me making one for you guys so uh, we're gonna start off with physical attacks of course physical and then we have uh, crispy blonde which is learned at level four no not four seven actually yeah right no level four and then this one's at seven right yep so let's see a special score real quick deals insane special damage all enemies applies bleeding to all enemies so this one's actually better than Voltix special skill I would say um, okay to start a journey this one it's a moderate special um, moderate special damage to one enemy and applies nature weakness the other one is uh, deals moderate nature damage to one enemy apply a 50% chance of applying poison to one enemy and now um, starting off with uh, extra turns extra turns are one of my favorite ones that's why I like these kind of monsters like with extra turns it's just OP guys deals low nature damage to one enemy gives one extra turn just like Voltix um, skill you know that electrodynamic assault or something yeah I forgot about that but um, yeah this is just like that so extra turn that's actually really awesome and then save the kingdom it's a very heavy special damage to one enemy applies nature weakness to one enemy and then my own sweat um, it's a very heavy nature damage to one enemy applies poison to one enemy really good skill let me see this one uh, deals moderate nature damage to one enemy gives one extra turn to itself and then there's a two cooldown so um, let's see what else we have here epic quest so this one's a moderate special damage to one enemy, applies a nature weakness to one enemy, and gives one extra turn to itself. Okay, more extra turns. And then Sweaty Blade, um, deals heavy nature damage to one enemy, applies poison to one enemy, gives one extra turn to itself, requires cooldown. That, this one has three um, cooldowns. Now that is why this uh, Legendary Monster is not as good at, uh, good at, I mean, that is why this Legendary Monster is not good as Volte. That is because he has so many cooldowns. Voltex don't have any cooldowns until he runs out of stamina, which makes him so much OPer than um, other legendary monsters. And then there's a uh, hat throne, which is a very heavy nature damage to one enemy. It gives one extra turn to itself. Really good. But then there's a three um, turns cooldown, which kind of sucks. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, the nature Voltex. I guess nature element of Voltex or something. I don't know what you want to call it. But it's not as good as Voltex is. Voltic is still the best monster. I don't know if they're gonna make any more monsters just like Voltic. I mean, this is pretty close to Voltic, but not as close it is as Voltic. I mean, Voltic is actually really OP. But then his trait is really unique. So status effects have a 20% less accuracy um, against it, and then there's immune to poison. So this monster is really good with poisoning and all. I mean, it makes sense. He's a frog. Plus, um, when he's in his first evolution, he kind of looks a lot bigger than second and third. You see what I mean? Look at this. First, second, third. Second, third. The second is really small, and then third. He's pretty cool looking anyway. I mean, I really like this monster. And then uh, this is his relic slots, mask and sword. Pretty good. And let's see, his level 100. It will be 3,454 power, 26,000 life, uh, 2,000 higher than Voltic, and then there's 3,400 speed. So let's quickly talk about um, Whiskal. Let's quickly talk about his runes. Alright, so let's see here. Um, he has a lot of extra turns, of course, but we're not going to use any um, stamina. If you get this monster, don't put any stamina runes on him. He's not like Voltic, okay? I mean, he has a lot of extra turns, but it's not like Voltic, okay? Yeah. I mean, you could put stamina because, look, I wouldn't recommend putting on stamina because, look, um, let's start off with this one, which has extra turn. So this one has one uh, one cooldown, right? So if you use Rapier and a Hat and then you have stamina, basically, then you're going to have an extra turn. You can use something like um, another extra turn right here, and then after you get the extra turn, this is the one that has two cooldowns. But then um, after you use this skill, of course, this other one is already here. You know, like uh, you're already gonna have it. So I mean, you could put stamina, but I wouldn't recommend it. I will put uh, I will put actually two strength and one speed for him, or two speed one strength, strength. I mean, uh, because he is uh, pretty much like a um, what's it called? He's attacker, you know, most likely, most likely an attacker. So why not? Um, yeah, so I would recommend putting on uh, what's it called salmon. I mean, not salmon runes, strength runes more than stamina, uh, because I, I mean, you could still put on 
stamina, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then, oh, of course, you also need speed. So put on speed. If you want to just use him, like uh, put on all three T speeds, and like you're not using him too much. I mean, he's really good attacker, I would say, because he has a lot of poison, um, and of course, a lot of extra turns in his, his skills. And of course, nature weakness. Nature weakness is a, is a really good one too. I mean, not the best, but it still works out, you know. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and read some comments here. So hello everyone. Uh, allow me a retired pro player to give us uh, to give you guys some guides to this monster skills, epic quest, sweaty blade, half throne, and my own sweat. Hold on, let me just check here. Um, this one looks good. Yeah, my own sweat is one of the good ones. Epic quest, sweaty blade, and half throne are the best ones. So yeah, I, I kind of agree with this player. So um, you you don't get extra turn from my own sweat so can recharge plus not picking for extra turns moves will hamper if you put on defense oh uh, if you use this as an attacker then you, you don't have to use it in your defense team I mean most most teams are gonna get this monster because it's just eight laps but some teams won't be making it so if you get this legendary monster um, I would actually recommend this sweaty blade um, hat thrown is good this one's good now you could either choose uh, this guy right here that I'm highlighting or you could also go with uh, my own sweat but I think I'll recommend this one because it, ha it also has an extra turn so you can put salmon rules and all um, this guy will be the best killer at least for uh, for me he will be rank 3 my voltic only rank 0 my rank voltic is level 105 and I don't know if I'm gonna get this monster to like rank 105 or 110 I hope I get him to like at least level 110 it will be really sick hopefully my team I will help my team out a lot so I will seriously pick the start to join you let's see start to join you Wh which one is it um this one is a moderate special damage to one enemy applies weakness I mean one thing that's wrong with this kill there is no cooldown which is good but it's a moderate special damage and it just applies nature weakness not the best you know plus look 35 let me see these are also 35 but let me see the accuracy it's still 95 so hold on star journey takes more stamina that's why it, it, it uses more stamina that's the thing he will run out of stamina pretty quick that's some, the only thing that's wrong with that uh, this monster is obtain uh, obtainable from the new grand race just that uh, appeared today of course uh, we already know that the nature version of Voltic just like I said guys <laughs> this is the nature version of Voltic he doesn't have um, I don't know what that means a stronger Voltic I want him to know now I'm pretty sure that's what he meant okay so yeah I do want this legendary monster badly but I mean I, if I still don't get him to like level 110 I'm still alright you know but he is a really good special, uh, I mean, really good attacker. So if you guys are going for, like, looking forward for attackers, I feel like he's going to be a really good one. I mean, I mean, you could also purchase, what's it called, um, ch chests that are coming up pretty soon. You know those chests that give you um, race monsters? So this is actually really good. Uh, if you don't get them from the race, you could still get them from the chest. It wouldn't be a nature monster if he wasn't immune to poison in some way. Makes sense. That boy killed Voltic. <laughs> okay, so let's compare him with Voltic. Um, as you guys know, th this monster is most likely an attacker, and Voltic is attacker too, of course. But um, I would still go with Voltic, even though he's a really stronger attacker than Voltic, because that's the thing is, um, if he takes the first turn, then Voltic's gonna be really weak, but he won't be dead. Um, after that, if Voltic's next. Then Volsic could just keep using all of his skills. He could at least deal 26 damage, uh, 26,000 damage, which is uh, his life, you know, um, without any runes on. Don't put any runes on. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, him versus Voltic, okay? Let me know which one you think is better. I, I will still go Voltic. Uh, I love his trade, though I do wish it was like copycats or at least hardened and energized. It's cool. And it's cool. Like, yes, I agree with that. Voltic's nature brother. I smell a nerf coming. Ah, uh, Voltic. I mean, they don't really look alike, do they? Yellow-ish, greenish. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Because Voltic got nerfed, we have anticipation. As Wait, what do you mean Voltic got? Are you serious? Voltic got nerfed? I didn't even know that. Wait, what did he get nerfed on, guys? I'm 
I kind of, I'm kind of confused now. The social point nerf Voltic. I don't know if they like nerfed his damage, like his power or his other stuff. I don't know, guys. Damage over time. Wait, hold on. What? Did they really nerf Voltic? Wait, if they really did, then I'm kind of mad because, come on, Voltic. Why? It's, I mean, social point. Come on, why would you nerf? the best legendary monster one of the best legendary monsters in the game like i know some of you guys won't agree with me but i feel like voltic is one of the best legendary monsters best attacker actually so come on voltic's really nerfed i'm kind of mad now if, if this is true if this comment is true then i'm kind of mad because i mean come on voltic is really nerfed 24,000 life still i don't know about his power i don't remember his power speed is 3465 i don't remember that either i only remembered his life but did they really nerf him? Status, hold up. I need to check his skills real quick. Extra turn. Extra turn. Gives one extra turn. Um, this is not one of his skills, so when I'm, I'm not gonna go with it. Um, he's not really, uh, well, his extra turns aren't nerfed, but I don't know about his um, status. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys uh, think that this is actually nerfed. I mean, if, if it is, then... I'm pretty mad, but um, anyway, with this legendary monster, like I said, put on two strength runes with one speed or two speed with one strength rune. He's a pretty good attacker. Um, all I'm saying is, if he, he's a really good legendary monster, so you're going for an attacker, this is the best uh, nature monster to go for. Um, he is pretty similar for, to Voltic, but I think I'll go with Voltic if they go in a battle or something, uh, because Voltic's way OP here. But I mean, everyone has their own opinion. I won't hate or anything. But this is a really good legendary monster, and I'm, uh, I will be getting him to level whatever I get to any rank. But um, that is going to be pretty much it for today's analysis video. I hope you all enjoyed today's gameplay. I mean, not gameplay analysis video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And I want to remind you guys that we're doing a giveaway for the uh, month of July. So if you want to go ahead and enter, let me uh, let me know in the comments down below that you want to. And please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. Um, that way I know if you are subscribed or not so I could get to yeah, pick the winner and all uh, but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video peace out